Okay, thanks for tuning in. On this video, I'm going to demonstrate depth of field at the closest possible distance, the working distance with macro, and at about two and a half feet away. And I'm going to compare with an open and closed aperture, both with a compact and on an SLR camera. So this should be pretty cool. I found this beautiful, relatively small uh, eel on a reef and we're going to uh, do a couple shots here. Now first, I'm going to have my aperture as small as it will go on this compact camera, f8, and I'm about two and a half feet away, and I uh, got the shot. Now I'm going to open my aperture as large as it will go to 2.0. I'm about two and a half feet away, okay, and I got the shot. I'm going to have less depth of field with the um, open aperture, but a compact camera has a very small sensor and you have generally pretty good depth of field even with an open aperture. Um, and we will, especially at a little further distance away, you're not going to notice too much of a difference. Um, but let's look at the SLR now. I've got the 60 millimeter macro on my SLR and I'm going to have the aperture almost as small as it will go at f32. I need a flash at f32 to get enough lighting here. So I'm about two and a half feet away, focusing on the eye of the eel, and I got the shot. And um, now I'm going to open up the aperture, not as large as it'll go, but almost. We'll do it f5. Now, of course, you can do anything in between, too, but this is more for didactic purposes. And I'm a similar distance, about two and a half feet away, with my 60, mil 60 millimeter macro, got the shot. All right, now, Let's see what happens with depth of field at the varying distances when we get real close. So now I'm going to make the aperture again as small as it will go, f8 on my compact camera, and I'm getting as close as I can, looking at the LCD, focusing on the eye, okay, of this eel, got the shot, and now I'm going to make the aperture all the way open, f2.0, and you will see here that I'm going to have less depth of field, which will help uh, blur the potentially distracting background. Or you might want to keep the background in and have a small depth of field. It all depends. There's no, no right or wrong answer. Now, I've got my SLR camera, and I'm going to make my aperture very small to get real good depth of field. I'm going to go to um, F32 here. Get as close as I can. Focusing on the eye, got it. Now I'm going to open my aperture to f5, and I'm going to have very little depth of field. I'm going to focus, have to focus right on the eye here. I want the I want the eye to be in focus because almost everything else is going to be blurred, but I will eliminate the potentially distracting background if I think the background is distracting. Anyway. Let's check out how these uh, images look on the computer screen. Thank you. Uh, look, again, we're comparing a compact camera with a SLR camera, 60 millimeter macro lens, comparing a depth of field, both with an open and closed aperture at two feet away from the subject and very close to the subject at the working distance. So this first one, I'm, um, two feet away with a compact camera and I have my aperture is a very small, as small as it'll go at f8. And you can see um, I'm, I have pretty good depth of field, all right? Now look at the next slide carefully. Look at the background in the trees. Here it is f2 all the way open. It's a little more blurred. The trees in the background are a little bit more blurred. Not much of a difference. Things are still in pretty good uh, focus. That's because the compact camera with a small sensor has relatively good depth of field even with an open aperture. Now let's look at the SLR 60 millimeter macro lens which is equivalent to a 90 millimeter macro lens on, an S, on a full frame sensor. I'm about two, two and a half feet away and this is with a small aperture at f32 and you can see uh, the eel, of course, is larger using this macro lens. I get more magnification. And you can see part of the background, sort of a distracting background, in my opinion. But you can see it's somewhat blurred, but it's still, uh, you can, it's quite apparent. Now, with an open aperture, uh, f5, quite an open aperture, wow, 
the background, you can still see it, but it's much more blurred and you can't see all of the eagle, but the eyes and a good part of the face are in focus. And in my opinion, it pops out. Now there's no right or wrong, uh, you know, what's the best image? It's a matter of opinion. I personally like the second one here a little better. Okay, now we're going to be as close as we can at the working distance. I got my compact camera. Look at how close I am to that eel. And I have my aperture again, all the way as small as it'll be at f8 and you can see the subject looks pretty large and I've got a lot in focus um, okay pretty good depth of field now I've got it all the way open I'm, I'm again very close and here you do see uh, the image pops out more because the background is more blurred at an open aperture of uh, 2.0 with my compact camera at a working distance as close as I can be now I've got my 60 millimeter macro lens at the working distance I'm a little further away than the co compact camera but it's still a fairly small working distance and this is my aperture very small at f32 and you can see uh, um, you know the background somewhat blurred because we just do not get good depth of field with a macro even with a small aperture but most of its face is in pretty good focus now with my aperture open boy all we can see is uh, the eyes the, uh, you know the rest of the subject is somewhat blurred now this might be more artful it kind of pops out or maybe some people wouldn't like it because so much of the subject is blurred but this is with the open aperture at f5 with a 60 millimeter macro lens at a working distance so i hope to, i hope this demonstration of a depth of field with a compact versus a slr camera and a 60 millimeter macro lens at both the working distance and about two feet away at an open and closed aperture and how the depth of field compares. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks so much for tuning in.